Okay, every time I blast an enemy with this awesome attack, we are going to heal ourselves. And with the help of some powerful incantations, we are now basically invincible. I am invincible! We can do this whilst keeping our distance from bosses and all with a very simple gear setup. I mean, this build is taking the game breaking to a ridiculous level, and in just a few minutes I'm going to give you a super quick but full breakdown of this invincible build. My fellow Tarnished, I give you the Immortal. I started with the Samurai class, and at rune level 200 our stats are Vigor at 60, Mind at 28, Endurance at 23, Strength at 56, Dexterity at 15, Intelligence at 9, Faith at 80, and Arcane at 8. Our gear starts with the Blasphemous Blade plus 10 in the main hand and its awesome weapon skill, Taker's Flame. More on this in a moment. I am the Lord. Cool story, bro. In the offhand, we have a Nurtreed Seal plus 10, giving us the best faith scaling for our incantations, which we'll also look at in a moment. In our head slot, we have the Ash of War Scarab. This lowers the FP cost of Taker's Flame by 13 to 15%. Then the rest of the gear is the Gelman Knight set, and I mean, just look how awesome and crazy this build looks. Talismans, talismans, talismans. Our talismans are pretty locked down with minor variations. Shard of Alexander boosting our Taker's Flame by 15%. Fire Scorpion Charm boosting our fire damage by 12%. Old Lord's Talisman boosting the duration of our spells by 30%. And Carrion's Filigreed Crest, lowering the FP cost of our Taker's Flame by 25%. This stacks with the Ash of War Scarab for a max total of 35% less FP cost for Taker's Flame. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick maths. In the Flask of Wondrous Physic, I lock down the first slot for the Flame Shrouding Crack tier, boosting our fire damage. And then you can swap out the second slot for multiple options. The Crimson Burst Crystal tier, which will constantly heal us for a period of time, really adding to the invincibility effect of our other heals. The Opaline Bubble tier, significantly negating the damage we take. Or the Green Burst Crystal tier, boosting our stamina recovery. It really all depends on the situation you're in. Now, before we look at the combat strategy, here are the incantations we have. Our trusty golden vow, increasing attack power by 15% and defense by 10%. Flame grant me strength, boosting our physical and fire damage by 20% each. Blessing of the Ur Tree, healing us for 1080 HP over 90 seconds. And Ur Tree Heal, a heal incantation that scales with our high faith stat. I mean, you just cannot lose. Look at this. Okay, combat time. It's super simple for bosses, which we'll look at first, then I'll show you an awesome alternative loadout for exploring. So, just start by chugging the flask, buffing with Golden Vow, Blessing of the Earth Tree, and then Flame Grant Me Strength. Use Taker's Flame to inflict awesome damage, which is going to heal you. You see, Taker's Flame does just that. It's a fire-based, life-stealing attack which you can use from a distance. It also does 22 stance damage, which means you're going to be getting some tasty critical hits in as well. With buffs like Blessing of the Earth Tree, you are going to be constantly healing yourself whilst inflicting major damage. It's hilarious! Now, when out in the world exploring, why not switch the Old Lord Salisman for the Taker's Cameo? Taker's Cameo heals you for every enemy you kill, and the effect can be quite insane. That is really all there is to this build, but before you fly off to break the game, let's test this build against some awesome bosses. Before we do, I want to know your thoughts on this build. How would you find it, and what would you do differently? Please join the Discord that's linked, and leave as many comments as you like. Please join me in thanking Ash and Knight Vess for this incredible build. Legend.